offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech, we beseech you, o Lord, o Lord, your, your grace, grace into our, our hearts, hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his, made by his passion and cross, cross be brought, brought to the, the glory, glory of his resurrection, resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to our Eucharistic celebration streaming live from the sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. Offer this Mass for all your intentions, especially the intentions of Pope Francis, the good health of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, the intentions of our Superior General, Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, all doctors, nurses, health all intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass and those who are enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. Alcantara and Arsenio family, Costa, Cynthia Flores, Nona Tuazon, Pami Akuin, Anna May Advincula, Dr. Faye Bautista, Tapanco family, Mil Pasyon and Catalan families, Bianca Camille Dionisio and family, Lea Moran Chavez and family, Stephen, Stephanie Hunt and family, Maxine Chavez, Francis Daniel, Jan Alvi Gutierrez, Joel Guanzon, Elisa Batayo and family, Diana and RVM Mangompit, 
Kelly Guillermo, Marcia Skippy Santos, Charmaine Christine Marco, Zainab Haraki and family, Mini Minerva Hat Valeriano and family, Vilmia Dionisio and family, Remy Cheka and family, Henry and Mark and Radora, Rosana De Castro and family, Earl Albina and family, Kathy Kagata and family, Alex Riveros and family, Sheila Magsalang Equibal and family, Elsa Irastorza Yuzon and family, Alessandra Lopez Edwards, Janus Hagmok and family, Laurel family, Daryl Borja and Joseph Mapa family, Monsignor Hernando Coronel, Father Sunny De Claro, Irvin Neal Temporal, Ernest Family, Sara Dorotea Laurel Lopez and Family, Teresita Ancores and Lotto and Family, Emily Genicio Cordial and Family, Joan May Fariolen, George Vargas, Dexter Servitilio and Family, Rina Tinoco, Lourdes Ocampo, Thanksgiving of Nisho and Oliveros family, Fariolen family, Felix, Francine Vistamonge, Maria Takeda and family, birthday Thanksgiving of John Philip Balmatero Linao, Jerry Espiridon, Maria Teresa Cordero, Chris Nicolas De Leon, Nicanor Tapanco, Carmencita Fajardo, Erolinao Palmaria Family, Don Yoli Eugenio, Gio Liam Alcantara, Daniel Adrian Acosta, Chase De Los Santos, Ina Concordia, Glory Carascal, Mirla Gomez, Advincola Family, Fredelino Gelat, Bautista Family, 8E JE Trading Corporation, employees and, and their families, Betilda Hamir, Francisco Domagoso, Mary Machivil, Charlize Mangumpit, Elias Agad, Jonathan Toring, Hani Lacuna, Leonil Tabar, Judith Soronio Figues, Veronica Eliseo, Leia Jenica, Jervin Jericho, and Joan May Fariolen. Healing and recovery of Jeffrey Balmatero Linao, Noel Herrera, Maria Cristina Pingue, Lutgarde Escandor, Rosalindo de Jesus, Armando and Nino Sabalie, and Kathleen Acosta, Rolando de Guzman and family, Zenia Ramos, Hyacinth Villanueva, Gilberto Alvincola, Marivic A. Galban, Ofelia S. Marquez, Ligaya Barcelon, Jose Manantan, Naag, Luan Florido, Corazon Mil, Ia Carolina Hamir, Hanna Coronel Villarde, Enrica Gabales, Emperatriz Cortez, Galban, Suzette Agad Turing, Charito Agad, Jeline Suleiman, Ningning Cervantes, Israel Pangan, Christine Joy Fariolen, De La Cruz Family, Aaron Reyes, Reyes Family, Jose Marie Chua, and Eden Grace Austria, Emily Margarita Balila, Freddy Javier, Tafa, Jeanette Hoson, Repose of the Soul of Brother Sergio Agostino Gialdi, SSP, Felipe Lumancas Linao, Esperanza Orlina, Jovita de Guzman, Virgilio de Guzman Sr., Antonio Guzman, Francisco Baldo Arsenio, Abdon and Coleta Felicida, Lorenzo Rivedulia Jr., Eduardo Ruby Jean Tanghal, Angelo Joseph Areño, Ambrosio Nena, Billy and Nonoy Diaz, 
Reynaldo Kalubayan, Arnold Serer, William Tan, Nativit Lourdes Cordero, Nestor T. Estrella, Rosendo Alen Policarpio Cabrera, Yvette Tenefrancia, Maria Purificacion Canoto, Adelaida Banaag, Raquitico Sr., Agnes Dula, Hilaria and Macario Tapanco, Florencio Turla Jr., Teresita Tanglao Turla, Ruby Jean Tanghal Luis, Presi Perlito and Randel Bernal, Virginia Crosata Nacario, Milagros Coronel, Forte, Emma Nimides, Josina Nazaret, Danilo Oliveros, Ernesto Enriquez, Celia Diaz Laurel, Rizal D. Nacario, Andy Ruby, Agapito I. Abrera, Leonardo Quitorio, Bombit Aragon, Joy Test Gighe, Senior, Benita and Gaspar Moran, Maria Ruiz, Father Jose Crescente Amparo, J. Andre Mabatid, Nelly, and De Nelly D. De Quilia, Maria Teresa Bangasan, Islan, Mary Jane Castro, and all the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19. Entrance Antiphon. You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in your accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do. Through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Said Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and received adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God our Savior, and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trust trustworthy in appointing me in the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, 
but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out in ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O my Lord, my allotted portion in my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. Him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joy in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa ating mga kasambuhay, kayo din sa lahat ng kasama natin online. Sa atin pong ibanghelyo, no, tayo pa rin po ay nasa Sermon on the Mount, kung saan nagpapaliwanag si Jesus ng kanyang mga katuruan sa mga nais sumunod o yung mga gustong maging disipulo niya. At ang ating pong ibanghelyo ngayon, ay karugtong po ng ating ibanghelyo kahapon. No? Ang tanong na sinasagot ni Jesus kahapon sa ating ibanghelyo ay paano ba natin haharapin yung mga nagpa-persecute o yung umuusig sa atin? At napakasimple, praktikal, ngunit radikal ang sagot ni Jesus. No? Mahalin sila at palitan ng kabutihan ang kasamaang ginagawa nila. Mahalin ang umaaway sa atin at palitan ng kabutihan ang kasamaang ginagawa ng ating mga kaaway. Ganito ang turo ni Jesus sapagkat ganito ang pamamaraan ng pagmamahal at awa sa atin ng Diyos. No, na kahit tayo na ang pinakamasamang tao, yung pinakakasuklam-suklam na tao sa mundo, hindi ipinagkakait ng Diyos yung kanyang awa at yung kanyang pagmamahal. Sa katunayan, mga kasambuhay, ito ang pakilala sa atin ni San Pablo sa kanyang sarili sa ating unang pagbasa. Sinabi ni San Pablo na kahit na inusig, nilait, pinatay niya yung mga alagad at hinamak niya ang Diyos, ano yung pinalit ng Diyos sa kanya? Habag, no? pag-ibig, kabutihan, at paghirang pa sa kanya bilang isang ministro ng Ibanghelyo. Pero hindi ganon ka-automatic no, yung lahat na nangyari kay San Pablo. 
sapagkat nung magising sa katotohanan si San Pablo, natanto niya no, na siya ay mali. Dumaan siya sa matinding pagpapakumbaba. Ipinangalandahan niya na siya ay nagkamali sa kanyang mga sulat. Hindi siya nagtago sa mga taong ginawan niya ng kasalanan. Hindi siya nahiyang ipakita na siya ay tunay na napahiya. Hindi siya nahiyang makita siya ng marami na siya ay mahinang tao. Hindi siya natakot na sabihin siya ay naging sinungaling. Dumaan si San Pablo sa matinding pagpapakumbaba. No, gaya ng katuruan na sinasabi sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, unti-unti pero matapang na tinanghal ni San Pablo, tinanggal ni San Pablo yung malaking kahoy na humarang sa kanyang mga mata para makita yung katotohanan. Hinarap niya ang katotohanan ng nabulag siya sa kasinungalingan at pagmamalinis. At ang kanyang pagpapakumbaba at matapang na pag-amin sa kanyang mga kasalanan ang naging daan para mas makilala niya ang kanyang sarili at ang Diyos na kanyang sinasamba. Pagpapakumbaba no? at matapang na pag-amin sa ating mga kasalanan. Nung ako po ay high school sa Marinduque, dahil malayo po yung bahay namin sa ano sa uh, eskwelahan na pinapasukan ko at maghapon po kasi yung klase ko, ang ginagawa ko po noon ay may isang karinderiya na kung saan po ako laging nananghalian. So para bawas ko sa allowance, ang sisti po ng aking nanay no, at ni Ate Josie na may ate ng, ano, ng karinderiya, ay mamimili na lamang po ako ng mga aking gustong kainin tuwing tanghalian. Pero dapat, sabi ng nanay ko, hindi hihigit sa 50 pesos. No? 50 pesos kada kain. At babayaran na lamang ito ng nanay ko sa karinderiya ni Ate Josie ng lingguhan. No? Ito po yung usapan namin ng aking nanay. Sa mga unang buwan, okay pa. No? Pero pag kalipas ng ilang buwan, naisip ko na pwede naman siguro akong sumobra sa 50 pesos. Total, nanay ko naman yung magbabayad. At hindi naman siguro siya magre-reklamo kung di ako susunod sa kasunduan namin. Kaya naman, aba, araw-araw po parang piyesta yung pagkain ko. Umu-order po ako kahit minsan hindi ko na nauubos yung pagkain. No? Minsan namimigay pa ako, nanlilibre pa ako. Nung una, ay hindi naman nagre-reklamo yung nanay ko na sobra sa 50 pesos yung kinakain ko. At hindi ko rin naman sinasabi sa nanay ko na sumusobra sa 50 pesos yung kain ko kada araw. Siguro, nagpapakiramdaman lang kami ng nanay ko. No? Pero dumating po sa punto na kinausap ako ng nanay ko at kinausap na rin ng nanay ko si Ate Josie tungkol doon sa nangyayari. Kaya nung kumprontahin po ako ng aking nanay, ay eh, iyak na iyak, iyak nang iyak po ako sa takot. Parang gusto kong sabihin na warak na warak na ako. No? Naiisip ko tuloy sa sarili ko, magsisinungaling ba ako? O aahilingin ko sa nanay ko na ganun pa rin sana, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung gagawin kong mali. No? Hindi naman sa ayaw ng nanay ko na kumain ako ng marami. No? Mas matutuwa pa nga siya na tataba ako no? sa payat ko pong ito. Pero pinaintindi ng aking nanay no sa akin na dapat kung matututunan na dapat kung matutunan ang halaga ng katapatan at pananagutan o accountability sa bawat pagsuway ko sa isang usapan. Nais ng nanay ko siguro na maipa na mai sa puso ko na kahit sa tingin ko ay tama ako Mali lagi ang bagay na dinadaan sa pagsisinungaling. Na kahit tama ako sa tingin ko, sa sarili ko, mali lagi ang desisyon na hindi base sa katotohanan. At ang hindi pag-amin sa kasalanan at kawalan ng pakialam dito ay isang pagmamataas. Pride. Po, ay napahiya talaga ako. No? Napahiya ako sa nanay ko at napahiya ako kay Ate Josie. Pero minabuti ko pong humingi ng pagpapatawad sa aking nanay, pati na rin po kay Ate Josie. 
at sinubukan kong tumupad at maging tapat sa usapan namin ng aking nanay. Alam niyo po, hindi lamang katapatan at pagpapakumbaba ang narealize ko noon. Natutunan ko rin na magtipid, na pumili ng mga bagay na kailangan ko lamang, at laging isipin na sa bawat desisyon ko ay may katumbas na pananagutan sa iba. Sa, sa tuwing ko konfrontahin tayo, mga kasambuhay, ang ating mga pagkakamali, may tatlo tayong option na pwede nating gawin. Una, pwede nating tabunan ang ating pagkakamali ng isa pang kasinungalingan. Pangalawa, pwede nating aminin ang ating pagkakamali ng walang pagbabagong gagawin. At pangatlo, pwede nating aminin ang ating pagkakamali, magpapakumbaba at magbago. Sa tatlong options po na ito, yung pangatlo ang hamon sa atin ni Jesus. Ang pag-amin sa ating pagkakamali, pagpapakumbaba at kahandaan natin na baguhin yung ating pagkakamali. Acceptance of truth involves humility and restorative action. Kaya nga ang itinuturo lagi sa atin ng buong Biblia, true repentance always leads to conversion. Ang totoong pagsisisi sa ating mga kasalanan ay laging dinadala tayo sa pagbabago ng ating sarili. The more we willingly accept our faults, the more we get to know our true self the more we become willing to love and the more we are ready to change our bad habits. Kapag ang pag-amin sa ating pagkakamali ay hindi nagdadala sa atin sa pagbabago ng ating sarili, niloloko natin hindi lamang ang Diyos, pati na rin ang ating sarili. Hindi tayo binubulag ng kasalanan kung hindi tayo mismo ang bumubulag sa ating sarili. Ang tunay na nagpapatawad, ang tunay na nagmamahal ay yung nagpapatawad din sa sarili no? at nagmamahal din sa sarili. Sa kahandaan natin na panagutan ng ating mga kasalanan, huwag tayong matakot na magpakumbaba, na makitang maliit tayo at makitang madumi tayong tao. Bulagman sila no? sa kababa ang loob natin o yung katunayan ng ating pagsisisi, bulagman ang mga taong nakakakita sa atin, hindi naman bulag ang Diyos. Ang mata ng Diyos ay laging awa at pag-ibig. Mga kasambuhay, naway sa ating pag-uusisa sa ating sarili at nakita natin ang ating mga pagkakamali, matutunan nawa natin ang magpakumbaba at malaman at umaksyon sa anumang ating pananagutan, sa Diyos at sa kapwa. Amen. God bless us all. Please all rise for the intercession. We are guilty of hypocrisy when we notice the faults of others and close our eyes to our own even bigger faults. Let us ask the grace to refrain from condemning because we are not aware of what is going on in the human heart. For every petition we pray, Lord, give us an understanding heart. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May the church leaders follow the example of St. Paul who said, I discipline my body for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. We pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May political leaders set aside narrow preconcep preconception and listen carefully to people and the youth, allowing them to make their own contributions to the community. We pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May we learn from Jesus, our divine master, so that we may look at the world and humanity with a compassionate heart, we pray. 
Lord, give us an understanding heart. May we, in correcting others, do so with humility, understanding, and love, and never out of the sense of superiority, we pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May judges and law enforcers see to it that imprisonment is not to repress offenders, but to reform for eventual integration in society, we pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. Let us also pray for the people of Afghanistan and all those who are torn by war. Let us pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. Almighty God, Remove the wooden beam from our eye. Remove the splinter in someone else's eye. May we refrain from condemning others and be forgiving, for we ourselves may be more guilty than they are. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. This is in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We dare to say, Our Father who art in thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For us, Lord, we pray from every evil, peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Thank you. 
Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the fruit, food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment. We pray for those afflicted, those who care for them, grant eternal rest. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion this crisis and lead us to conversion and 
Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all danger. Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. San James Alvarione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating this with us. Glad God bless you all. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, Church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in you. Jesus, life, separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. May presence bring grace and call. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist, your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christ governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. <laughs> 